Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. Enter his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving in your hearts. For he has made me glad. He has made me glad. He has made me glad. Jesus has made me glad. Enter his courts with thanksgiving in your hearts, for he has made me glad. Good morning, my dear sisters and brothers. Good morning, Father. This Mass is offered. For departed soul of Shashi Kala Mary by Michael and family. For all souls in purgatory by Sharon and family. For the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage proposal. Intention of Lakshmi for deliverance from all the evil of mother conversions. Let us begin the celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, today our Holy Mother Church celebrates the memorial of Saint Mary of Magdala. We call Mary Magdalene. Mary belongs to a place called Magdala in Jerusalem or close to Jerusalem. She was so faithful to God. She had intimate relationship with Jesus, calling him as his own love. And she went behind him and she proved it. Her love is so infinite. She went behind him even after his death. She went near the tomb to take his body so much she loved him. She never ever left his presence after receiving the grace from God, deliverance from all kinds of, she had the Satan or demon for sister. This is the blessing that Jesus gave to her. She remained faithful to him and she showed what is fidelity, what is intimacy through a love relationship with our Lord. She accepted as his own bridegroom, she accepted as his own savior and everything and moreover as a personal Lord God and personal relation with Jesus. Today, let us thank God for the gift of this gain of science, and these saints become a great model for all of us. Times when the crisis difficulty is there, we run away from the home whom we are loved ones. It happens in our own families. In the beginning, we say, I love you, but the time permits for you to say, I hate you, we're ready to say that. But let us learn from Mary Magdalene how she remained close to Jesus and our life to remain close to Jesus forever. As the times we have gone far away from God's love and love of God shown through human being, we ask pardon and forgiveness. God may give us the gift of love once again to have the love of God. I confess to Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have, I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in, in what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant we pray that through our intercession and example we may proclaim the living God and come to see him reigning in your glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
first reading, a reading from the Song of Solomon. The bride responds, upon my bed by night, I sought him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. I called him, but he gave no answer. I will rise now and go about the city, in the streets and in the squares. I will seek him whom my soul loves. I sought him, but found him not. The watchmen found me as they went about in the city. Have you seen him whom my soul loves? Scarcely had I passed them when I found him whom my soul loves. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Responsorial Sam, our response. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, my God. For, For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, my God. O God, you are my God. At dawn I seek you. For you, my soul is thirsting. For you, my flesh is spinning like a dry, weary land without water, response. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, Lord my, my God. God. I have come before you in the sanctuary to behold your strength and your glory. Your loud mercy is better than life. My lips will speak your praise, response. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, o Lord my, my God. God. I'll bless you all my life. In your names, I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My joyful lips, my mouth shall praise you. Response. For, for you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, Lord my God. God. For you have been my strength. In the shadow of your wings, I rejoice. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Response. For you, my soul is thirsting, O Lord, o Lord my God. God. Kindly rise for the gospel. God has spoken to his people, hallelujah. And his words are words of wisdom, hallelujah. O Mary, tell us what you saw along the way the tomb I saw of the living Christ and the glory of the risen one. God has spoken to his people, hallelujah. And his words are words of wisdom, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Now, on the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early, while it was still dark, saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran, went to Simon Peter, another disciple, one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white, sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord and I do not know where they have led him. Saying this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have led him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brother and say to them, 
I am ascending to my Father and to your Father, to my God and to your, and to your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I have seen the Lord. Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 17 and 18. I have seen the Lord. What a powerful word is this. The meaning of I have seen the Lord, God has given a revelation to me. And God has shown himself to me. And God has purified me, God me, and made me a worthy instrument of yours. So this is a word that Mary Magdalene uses because neither the apostles have seen nor so called his disciples have seen. The woman has been suppressed by the Jewish society, the masculine society. Even now, the Judaism never give importance to women. But look at here. Whatever man suppresses, God exalts. God created everyone by his own image and likeness. And God's first revelation, another word I can use, God's first manifestation after Jesus' death and resurrection, it is a woman who witnessed it. And that's the reason St. Bernard gives a title for Mary of Magdala. She is an apostle of apostles. She's an apostle of apostles. That means she's a greater among all the apostles. That kind of title has been given because she reveals the revelation has been given to her. The first revelation, Jesus is a Lord God Savior. Jesus, after death, received the resurrection from the Heavenly Father. Jesus is alive. Based on this resurrection only, the entire Holy Mother Church, why the entire universe is standing and the gospel has been written. St. Paul says to Corinthians, says, if Jesus has not risen, Whatever we preach, whatever we have, everything in vain and waste and useless, he says. Everything, Jesus' resurrection. And for this Jesus' resurrection, the first witness is Mary Magdalene, the Mary of Magdala. She becomes the first evangelizer. And today's first reading, taken from Song of Solomon. You see, this Song of Solomon speaks about a poem or a song speaks about a relationship between a husband and wife, relationship between love and lover. So this kind of relation, what kind of, so intimate relationship, so powerful relationship. She speaks about, I cannot live without him. I'm going in search of him, wherever he is, whatever he's doing. So beautiful it is. Even in our own vernacular, there are so beautiful poems speaking about God and the people. We call Allama Prabhu. She goes in search of him. Similarly, Mary of Magdala goes in search of God. And whatever written by Song of Solomon, the love song, has been always proved by Mary of Magdala. She went in search of Jesus. Jesus showed what is love to her. Entire family of Mary Magdala thought she's mad. Something gone wrong to her. If it all you want, there is something, the book of Mary of Magdala. It's read a pack of writing, we have a reference. They have taken a movie also about Mary of Magdala. The entire family is against her. They want her to get married. She don't want to get married. She has been possessed by the demons. Jesus liberates her, delivers her from all this evil possession and everything. After that, she follows Jesus so faithfully. Alabaster oil she has, she comes and uses for Jesus. She keeps it for his burial. And during his death, and everybody left him, all the apostles except Mother Mary, and this lady, and one more lady, Mayor Salome. These people are standing at the foot of the cross. Even John is nowhere. Later, John appears there. And she is, remains everywhere, whichever place he was taken, and wherever he was suffering, wherever he had a fall, she was running behind him. So much love she had for Jesus. And that is what, even at the Calvary, she is crying, crying. The entire suffering of Jesus, she was there. And also very specially on the three days, she was weeping, weeping, weeping. The night she was waiting, on the Easter night, she goes and sees the tomb is empty. She cries out, she cries out. And she uses the word, she says, 
where you have kept, if you have kept Samet, tell me, I'll carry him. She says, I'll carry him. I will preserve his body. And I want to live with him. That kind of love she shows. And for that, Jesus gives a revelation to her. And second thing, very important, is very important, is this. Jesus calls her by name, Mary. That is not so easy. God calling somebody by name. And this woman has been considered as a sinful woman. This woman considered as a woman. Nobody loves in a family. And Jesus calls her by name. The meaning of calling by name means, I love you so much. When God calls somebody by name, means he loves. That's what we see. The prophet Isaiah says, I've called you my name. I've carved your name on my palm. My dear sisters and brothers, Mary Magdalene has become a great model for all of us. Because God is telling all of us to be like Mary Magdalene. Follow Jesus. Live intimately with Christ. Not only during receiving the blessing in prayer, during the suffering she was there. When Jesus was suffering, she was there. And Jesus died, she was weeping, she was mourning. And her mourning became a mourning. A mourning became a so mourning blessing for her. And she became a morning star for everyone to give the evangelization, to proclaim that Jesus is risen. And she's the one who gave the message to all the apostles. That's what St. Bernard called her, apostle of apostles. Today, we need to receive the grace from God once again. We too always receive God's revelation that God may call us by name and we also witness to the world, I have seen the Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. By the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of a human hands, so become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you fruit of the wine work of a human hands. It will become for us a spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice, yours, may be acceptable, God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all this holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your holy begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up, up to, to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church faithful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. The great example lends us courage. The fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. We're sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave a disciple, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks to held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, it church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, Peter, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember all the brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Let's remember all the departed brothers, sisters, parents, and families. May God grant them eternal bliss. Very especially, we pray for departed soul of Shashikala Mary, souls in a purgatory, soul of George Victoria, and all the departed ones may receive your grace. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy, Lord, and the families gathered here, those who are participating in the Holy Eucharist through the YouTube or at homes and the families. My Lord, we offer everyone's prayer on this altar. Very especially remember the intention of Lakshmi for a marriage and deliver him from all the evil of a mother conversion and for a job. We pray for all our brothers and sisters, those who ask us to pray at home, we promise our prayers. Those who are sick, those who are under treatment, those who are hospitalized, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy on your people. We pray, Lord, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, his spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints, St. Anthony, St. Francis Xavier, St. Mary of Magdalene, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co hasted in our life. We praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as I weigh the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. Lord Jesus, because at your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of Jesus be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is Jesus, the truly living God, whom Mary of Magdalene saw and said, I have seen the Lord. I've experienced the Lord. I've touched the Lord, and God loves me. Let us confess before the Lord and say, I have seen the Lord. I've experienced the Lord, and God is with me. Happy are those who call the supper of this living God. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
act of spiritual communion my jesus my jesus i believe i believe that you are present that you are present in the most holy sacrament in the most holy sacrament i love you i love you above all things above all things and i desire earnestly and i desire earnestly to receive you into my soul to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally receive you sacramentally come spiritually into my heart come spiritually into my heart i embrace you i embrace you as you were already there as you are already there in my heart in my heart and unite myself and unite myself holy to you holy to you never permit me never permit me to be separated from you to be separated from you amen amen the love of christ impels us so that those who live may live no longer for themselves but for him who died for them and raised let us pray may the holy reception of your mysteries lord instill in us the pervasing love with which saint mary magdalene clung resoundly to christ a master who lives and reigns forever and ever amen bread of saint anthony O oh, loving, loving Saint Anthony, Anthony you were a special witness of God's power and, and loving imitator of Jesus who received from God the special power of restoring lost things and patron of the poor we lift up our prayers to you we trustfully and confidently ask your aid in our present need Help all of us in our daily struggles, giving us hope and peace. Pray for us, Saint Anthony, so that we may continue to grow in God's love. Intercede for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you and your families, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The mass is ended. Thanks be to God. more love more power more of you in my life more love more power more of you in my life and i will worship you with all of my heart and i will worship you with all of my mind and i will worship you with all